Kenta Maeda carried a no-hitter into the ninth inning Tuesday at Target Field. Did not finish the job, but he did put himself in the Twins' record books by striking out eight consecutive batters in this outing. Here's a really cool graphic from the broadcast on the third strike of each of those eight consecutive strikeouts. As you can see, mixing up pitches, mixing up locations. Uh, this was just a display of pitching, so let's take a, a real close look at this. You can see early on, check out Maeda's body language. He doesn't seem too uh, pleased with himself uh, as he gets the first strikeout here on Sogard. Uh, you can see something doesn't seem quite right, uh, but that quickly changes uh, in this stretch of eight consecutive Ks. Here you see that nasty split change. That pitch was on in this outing. Here's a look at that. Uh, the pitch chart against Sogard. Going with the four seamers to get in the zone strikes and then finishing him off with stuff out of the zone. Obviously, Garcia was much quicker work. Three pitches here. I think Garcia was probably looking off speed because all three of them fastballs and he basically just blew them away. You know, Maeda does not have a lot of velo, but when he's, you know, mixing things up, keeping guys off balance, uh, he doesn't really need to throw hard. Definitely the most difficult strikeout in this stretch. Christian Yelich, obviously an excellent hitter. Maeda falls behind, and then that home run swing that Lielich just missed, he's behind three balls and one strike now on a very dangerous hitter. And as you'd expect, Yelich hangs in there tough, falls off three pitches, but Maeda prevails by getting him with this slider in the strike zone, and he threw Yelich five sliders all in the strike zone in this plate appearance. He really didn't feature, that's a feature pitch for them usually, but he really didn't feature this pitch as much in most of his other plate appearances in this stretch of eight strikeouts. Next up, second strike, third strike, same pitch, same location. He just figures, ah, the split change is working. We got him on the second strike. Let's go right back to it. Uh, three pitch strikeout made very quick work there. An easy K for Maeda. Next up, Justin Smoke. Watch how they're working outside. That's going to come up very huge at the end of this at bat. They're working them outside, 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 because they get a call here eventually. And it's, I think, all on this setup by Avila and the fact they were working outside. That is not a strike. But look at Avila. Setting up outside, framing that perfectly, and Maeda puts it right where he set up. That was the fifth pitch. Again, out of the zone. Hey, sorry, no robo-umps. It is what it is. Ryan Braun, this was great. I'm going to do an overlay. You'll see here a three-pitch strikeout. Three pitches that start dead in the middle and end up three different locations. You can see he got him on the fastball, which stays middle. Nice squeeze by Avila there. But look at that. Three pitches start in the middle, all end up different locations. This is a good illustration of that. They were coming down the pipe at one point, and the changeup, the four-seamer, and the slider all end up completely different areas. This is just great pitching by Kenta Maeda over this stretch in particular. Uh, the next guy up, the catcher, Navarez, he puts up a pretty good fight here compared to some of the other uh, plate appearances, but Maeda ends up getting him on kind of a, a weak swing, kind of an oopsie-daisy swing. I don't think he thought that was a split change, and it dove away on him. Too late to stop the swing. You can see there he was going change-ups away, sliders in, and the fastball up. Uh, just a really nice working pitching there by Maeda. Next up here is uh, Ben Gamble, I believe this is. He actually makes contact, which is weird for this stretch. Nobody was really even fouling a lot of balls off. And then he pumps at 91, which since he's got the off-speed stuff working, it looks like it's about 98, it seems like. And the bench is loving it. Look at that, just pumping it right down the middle of the plate, basically, getting a lot of the zone, and guys just can't do anything with it. And this was such a cool graphic. I want to show it again. Uh, the pitches that Maeda got the strikeouts on, fastballs, sliders, change-ups, he's mixing everything up. Just an amazing performance, you know, disappointing that he didn't get the no-hitter, but still, wow, got to appreciate that stretch in particular. What an outing. What a pitcher.